In this video, we're discussing the question of, are eggs good for you? Hi, I'm Dr. Zorowski from newvisionexcel.com. If you're new to the channel, it is such a pleasure to have you here. Be sure to subscribe, hit that little bell notification to join our notification community, and I'm gonna help you excel your health and your life. In this video, we're talking about are eggs good for you? This is a very common question we get because organizations like the American Heart Association has really demonized eggs for many years, told people to stay away from them. So what we'll do in this video is we're gonna look at the nutrient profile that's found in eggs and then we'll talk about a couple of the details that you need to know and at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you one of the major details that you must know about eggs because it may apply to you. So let's first start with the nutrient profile here. So when you look at an egg, what you're gonna find in there is first of all, it has 77 calories. Okay, this is very important for someone who's counting calories, maybe on the ketogenic diet, watching you know, how their food breakdowns are. So 77 calories. It's rich in vitamins A, B, and D. It's also rich in antioxidants, specifically lutein and zeaxanthin, which are very important for eye health. These antioxidants have been proven to reduce macular degeneration and also reduce the cataracts that people are getting as they age. So high in antioxidants, it's also high in choline. Choline is very important for neurological health, brain health, so it's really great that it's high in choline. And then it also has a high amount of protein and good quality fats in it. As a matter of fact, the protein in the egg is about six grams and it's in an amino acid profile that's considered to be one of the most perfect profiles for the human body. And then of course, high in fats, which is you know really great if you're someone who is looking to support brain health and, and neurological health and all, all areas of your health. So, you know, anyway, when we look at this, what we see is that, first of all, it's the egg is going to support uh, us in building muscle. It's going to support in neurological health. It's going to support in eye health. And it also has different vitamins in there. So when we look at the egg in its entirety, what we essentially see here is that it is very, very rich in nutrients and it is a high quality food. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the other details that we must know. So first of all, weight loss. So the reason that eggs support weight loss is because eggs are a high satiety food. The reason they're a high satiety food is because they have fats, they have proteins, and they have carbohydrates. And when you look at the egg, it's a very well-rounded meal and it really nourishes the body. So as you eat something that nourishes the body well, essentially, you become full and, and you don't crave other food. So anyway, it supports weight loss in that way. And there's many studies out there that show people who ate eggs in the morning versus other foods, they were able to lose weight. The next topic that we need to discuss is organic and pasture raised. So, you know, when we look at eggs, there are low quality and high quality eggs. Now a high quality egg, you'll crack it in the pan. It'll have a dark yellow yolk and it'll also be much thicker. The low quality egg will have a very light yellow yolk. And when you crack it in the pan, it'll just disperse in the pan almost like water. Water. And so that's one of the ways you can really tell the difference. Now, an organic pasture raised egg is more expensive than others. So what I recommend if you don't want to spend the extra money to buy organic and pasture raised, then you just find a local farmer that you can get some eggs off of them because the chances are is that they are raising them well and that they are going to be good quality eggs. I personally have my own chickens, so I always know that they are good quality eggs. My kids love going out in the pen in the morning, grabbing the eggs, and it's just a fun thing for them to do. So. If you can't buy organic pasture raised eggs, at least find the local farmer to get them from. Now, the other thing that we need to discuss about eggs is that many people say that they cause heart disease. And so, you know, I'm not gonna discuss this in a lot of detail. I'm just gonna say that there's been no studies that correlate eggs, consuming eggs, and heart disease. There is also no studies that correlate eating eggs and cholesterol going up. Now, the last thing I'm gonna mention here is beware of this. And what I'm talking about is be aware of eggs. Now, what happens with eggs is clinically, we see eggs to be one of those foods that people are very sensitive to. And so let me break this down a little bit. So there's an IgE reaction and the IgE reaction, e reaction is one of those reactions like a peanut allergy. You eat some peanuts, your throat closes up and it's a bad deal, you run to the hospital, right? Now, an IgG reaction is a food sensitivity. Now, this reaction is much more subtle. It'll come in ways of robbing you of your energy, making you feel very lethargic. It'll also come in the way of causing you to have bad diarrhea and stomach cramps, okay? So many people are eating eggs and running to the bathroom and saying, well, I have irritable bowel syndrome and I don't know why. But it happens to be that maybe they ate the egg alone, but also eggs are found in many different foods and many different products. So we really have to be aware of that. 
And so if you're someone who eats eggs and you notice any type of sensitivity reactions, just be aware that you probably need to just cut them on your diet for a period of time and then you can introduce them back in slowly. So overall, when we look at this whole topic of eggs, eggs are a very, very high quality food to eat, especially if you're following like the ketogenic diet, they're very powerful. So make sure that you're incorporating some eggs in your diet unless you are sensitive. Other than that, give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, post in the comment section below. Subscribe subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate that. And then check out my other videos I've done on ketosis and fasting. You'll really love them. And I'll see you in the next video.